Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So still looking at four storm systems during this time period through late 330 feet of accumulation across and the numbers have stayed big this afternoon across many mountain ranges. You can see the timing here for the Sierra, Tetons, Wasatch and Colorado. Um, northeast still looking at heavy snow accumulation, big storm 323 and potentially another big storm behind that 327, 28 and 29. But we've got... Uh, four storms to deal with. Let me look at uh, water vapor here. and I'll show you the lay of the land. So on this again, your moisture aloft is in the whites, the blues, and the greens. So a little storm right here disintegrating, but it's moving through the intermountain with a wave of light snow as we speak. Now, this storm is really laying the groundwork because it's running into that high pressure and it's trying to break down that high that's been sitting across the west for so long now, like a week. Behind it, you've got a strong storm system. Another storm here. Another storm beyond that. So you can see all these different storm systems are lined up. And all of these will be part of this pattern shift uh, with a powerful jet knifing into the west. Watch this. So this is our, this is the latest uh, forecast jet stream here. Close of day today. Uh, there's tomorrow. And you can see the, the this next storm system. And this one holds together thanks to the first one breaking down the high pressure. But this is 323. Uh, heavy snow through the Sierra, parts of Washington, Oregon, then it all moves into Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and there's a storm right on the tail of this. So this is 325. The initial low is spinning up in southeast Colorado, and it does strengthen a little bit as, as a result, but right behind it, there's another low right on its heels, and that one races in and keeps the snow accumulation going. And then here comes a, a strong storm system right here, 327, 28. You can see how it moves from the west coast into the interior. And then that moves through. And then there's another storm behind it right there through 330 that crashes into the west coast and California. And then that one would move through the interior. So we're looking at four storm systems. Let's put some precip on top, on top of all this. So there's your forecast radar at 530. Um, today you can see the initial low with that those waves of light snow. And then that moves away. Here comes the next storm system, holds together, becomes a strong area of low pressure. You can see the snow. Pretty widespread here on 324. The whole low now is transitioning and diving into Colorado where it will spin up to a little stronger low. So it does start as rain in Denver, but then it turns over to snow Sunday into Monday morning. And then that moves away. But here comes the next storm system, keeps the snow going. And then that large storm system moves in 328 into the interior, and that's got heavy snow. And then another storm right on its heels, again, comes crashing into the, uh, the Pacific Northwest, California, and then that one moves into the interior. So it is definitely an active period here. All right, my latest totals, latest grand total map this afternoon. By late 3.30, pretty much all the numbers have held. Still looking at a couple of feet there in the Tetons, about a foot up in parts of Montana and Idaho, anywhere from two to three feet in the Wasatch, uh, one to two feet in Colorado, but solidly in that 20 to 24 inch range across western and southwest Colorado in the purple, anywhere in purple is over a foot. Numbers have stayed high in the Sierra, looking at probably three to four feet, um, a couple of feet up there in the Pacific Northwest. All right, let's break it down by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow, very light snow accumulation across the northern tier. Then we start to get into the action here. 323 through 325, we have at least one storm, maybe even part of the second one coming through here during this time period. And you can see the numbers. We start to see them go up sizably. By 326 into 330, we finish it out with a couple more storm systems. Three feet in the Sierra, one to two feet for a lot of the Tetons and the Wasatch. Colorado gets a solid foot during this time period. So this will be an exciting time. You know, four storms lined up. That's going to give us some some big grand totals. Let's go to the northeast, and these numbers have stayed large at about two feet through a lot of the major ski areas in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. You can see that belt of heavy snow, and actually it kind of extends west into parts of New York State. Whiteface could do quite well. Snow Ridge gets about a foot. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll end on the grand total map here by late 330. Again, anywhere in purple's over a foot. We're dealing with feet of accumulation, of grand total accumulation. Thanks, guys, for tuning in here, and take care.